Welcome one, welcome all, and welcome to an honest review of 2015's The Witch, directed by Robert Eggers. There's going to be some spoilers ahead, so you have been warned. Before we jump into the episode, though, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can now find Unleash the Ghouls on all the major podcasting services. So fuck off and listen to us over there. Or if you're listening on one of your favourite podcasting services, fuck all the way off to YouTube and subscribe to us there instead. Now that's out of the way, Kofi, tell us about the plot of this one. This one, we have a family that get banned from a town in New England over some religious differences. They set up a farm in the middle of nowhere with absolutely no one around and then they just start to experience some major supernatural forces, pretty much. Actually, Kofi, let me uh, let me take over for you. Okay. So firstly, the logo <laughs> of this film can suck a dick. It uses two <laughs> Vs for the W of which, which is a shit name for the film, The Vitch. And there's a bit near the beginning when the family are exiled and it just zooms slowly in on trees while the music goes into like super intense mode. But nothing even happens. It just stares at the trees with the fucking music going <laughs> and that's it nothing no fucking punchline to it just a fucking tree and then a baby goes missing old thomasin great english name there fucking <laughs> thomasin is playing peekaboo and then suddenly it's gone and she runs into the forest like it must have been snatched in the 0.4 fucking seconds between her closing her eyes and the baby being gone obviously there's some kind of witchcraft the same fucking witchcraft that probably happened when they were exiled slept on the floor for a single fucking night and then woke up to a fully functioning farm <laughs> with livestock crops the very next day yeah, I don't even know what to do this was not the best start gentlemen Connor what's your impression of this absolute vitch show <laughs> Right, how I kick off this? It's one of those horrors that's very, very slow burn. Yeah. And it gives you, like, a few little scenes here and there to, like, I suppose keep you interested. <laughs> what, like the trees? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, fucking nothing's happening. <laughs> Fucking Mexican wave, that one. <laughs> Mexican wave. Yeah, the Mexican wave. <laughs> oh, well played. Well, a uh, well played. <laughs> Most of the film is, um, well, not even most of the film, the entire fucking film is written in, like, a very accurate but also very outdated 1600s, like, New England dialect. Mm. It's <laughs> so that it's very Shakespearean sounding. They just, like, fucking sound so Yorkshire with just a bit of a weird twang, don't they? But the dad, oh my god, what's wrong with his voice? It sounds like he's gonna start selling his O2 contracts, like, oh, well, I O2. Oh, bloody hell, Thomas, he'll make me, like, 64 gig contract. Hear me this. I will not play a fool to children's games. <laughs> Jesus, how a fucking halls, mate. I quite like, though, that they stuck to, like, the dialect of the, you know, the rural English dialect that would have been around in the 1600s. I thought that was quite good. I quite liked that bit about the film. The thing is, like, I, I actually enjoyed it for, for quite a lot of it, only because I thought something good was going to happen at the end. It's because of those trees, wasn't it? You were like, oh, my God, 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 oh, my God. <laughs> Back to them washing clothes in the lake. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thomason's playing with possibly the two biggest cunt kids we've had in the film so far. <laughs> Fuck me. They're walking around hand in hand singing this. Oh, Black Philip, Black Philip, <laughs> fucking nursery rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> This scene kind of starts a bit of a, like a plot thread in the film where the kids think that Thomason's a witch. And she, like, just for taking the piss, she's like, When I sleep, my spirit slips away from my body and dances with the devil. <laughs> Sound like Derek Okora. <laughs> <laughs> Paul O'Grady again. All right, you dirty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty bitch. <laughs> I thought that the mum was going to be the witch for a while until mm. a crow mm. pe like pecks her nipple off. Oh, that was... Oh, yeah. what the fuck, man. Yeah. Did so many strange scenes in the film. She's daydreaming, isn't she, that she's feeding uh, the boy the that goes baby, missing? baby, yeah. And it's just a crow. Just suddenly, it <laughs> like, zooms away and then little absolute nipple getting pecked off. <laughs> the whole film didn't really do much until the last, like, 15 minutes. Because uh, it's kind of, if you take the horror elements out of it, it's a bit of, like, a family drama almost. Yeah, I guess. And you've got, like, the dad wanting to protect the kids, but the mum thinks that Thomason's a witch. The kids think that Thomason's a witch. Thomason's like, I'm not a fucking witch, I'm a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and in between that, you've just got fucking Black Philip the Randy Goat bopping around the farm. We haven't even mentioned Caleb yet, actually, the, uh, the young Good son. Good little actor. Mm. He 
goes into the woods at one point and sees like this sort of scantily clad young woman in like a red cloak and uh, she like tries to tempt him into like her gaff but then like this old fucking horrible witch hand just grabs him out of nowhere and the next time we see him he's like just naked in the rain he's just delirious as fuck I like the way he like <laughs> tries to lure him in I'm pretty sure she kisses him and then like drags him in to the uh, I don't even know what to call it Shrek's hut and then um, <laughs> and then the next thing you see yeah he's like naked in the middle of nowhere after being absolutely fucking turned into a man by the bitch <laughs> he has been shown the ways of the world hasn't For he <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but what I don't get is, like, he's just delirious lying, like, having a sweat on or something. And they just, like, cut the side of his head and just uh, make it weird, bleed it? into a ball. I don't know why. That's that's not explained at all in the film, is it? No, they, they don't even <laughs> have, like, a little we chat. Need some blood, quick. <laughs> Thomas, what the hell are you doing, <laughs> my son? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, more family drama. Thomason is now accused of being the witch, and the dad's like, "Don't say these things. I need proof. I need proof that you're not a witch. <laughs> Do you like the Bible and praying? That's a good fucking line of questioning." <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, "Yeah, love it. I love it, Dad." <laughs> and he's just like, "All right." <laughs> and then she like she accuses the the two twins, doesn't she? She's like, "The kids, they did it. They've been speaking to a goat." And he's just like, "Shut up." <laughs> So they put them all in the fucking shed. Oh, yeah, she was just like, yeah. fuck you then. I'll lock all three children in the shed overnight. With Black Phillip as well. Yeah, and see what happens. And then in the middle of the night, you just see someone like suckling on the goat, <laughs> don't you? The whole film, it kind of has a lot of tension and a lot of like suspense that's built mm-hmm. up. And it kind of just drip feeds you little scenes here and there. Like Thomason's milking a goat, but it's like blood that's coming out instead of milk. But when they finally show the all witch in the barn. It was really creepy but I am upset that they only showed it for such a brief split second. Yeah. We only got two two like scenes of that, didn't we? Seeing the actual witch. And they were like five seconds long. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. And I don't know if the film's better or worse for that. I would like to have seen more of the witch but it also like leaves a lot to the imagination as well. After that bit where they were like, you know, you saw the witch suckling from the goat. The film like ramped up from there and, and mm-hmm. got interesting yeah. for me. But like before that I yeah, I just had a lot of, like, questions. Like, you could feel, like, it was getting more dark and the witch's presence was starting to, like, bear more on the family and, and cause, like, problems and things were starting to go wrong. Yeah, it was that moment in the barn where all of a sudden, like, the pace changed and suddenly the film <laughs> yeah. just kind of exploded and then it was over. Yeah. But th- those last, mm-hmm. like, yeah, like, 10 to 15 minutes, I, I actually quite enjoyed. But before that, I just found it really, really painful. And... <laughs> There just wasn't much going on to, like, keep it all that interesting. And then suddenly just a goat rams through the dad. Oh, Christ, <laughs> yeah. yeah, fucking Goatberg comes out. No. Goatberg. <laughs> the dad, like, comes up, he like, wakes up in the morning to, like, go back to the barn and see what's happened, and it's just Thomas in there. Everyone else is just fucking dead, pretty much. As the audience, you're sort of, like, in this moment of, oh, fucking hell, the dad's probably going to go over to Thomas and now and give her, like, a beat or something, I don't know. And then all of a sudden, Black Phillip's just yeah. like, no, you're fucking <laughs> not. She has quite a good little fight with the mum, didn't she? And kills the mum. Yeah. Um, slits her throat with like a... Is it one of them things that you get corn with? Like reaping corn. <laughs> reaping corn. A, co- a corn reaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For some reason, she just has to get naked. Because she speaks to Black Phillip, doesn't she? And she's like, please, tell me what you want. And he goes... What dost thou want? And you're like, oh, well, well done for sticking again to the accent. But basically goes, do you like butter? <laughs> and do you want to yeah, live a like... good life? And she goes, uh-huh. Asks her to get completely naked and follow him into the woods. And she does. And you just find just a load of women sat naked in a in a circle, just shouting, like, speaking in tongues. And they start floating. And you're like, this is a bit weird. And then the big reveal is Thomas in laughs and floats. End. <laughs> film ends, as films do. The lead up to everything was, it would have been good if something happened at the end but it was like a long slow lead up to a little bit of quite good action and then aha I'm the witch good night <laughs> yeah yeah it really was like that the film's really weird in the sense that it's quite different to like traditional horror films and I kind of like that but then yeah there's just nothing really that happens for the majority of the film until right at the end even then it's not really that enjoyable but it's weirdly somehow still quite interesting it wasn't totally unenjoyable but it also just wasn't enjoyable at all at the same time 
Maybe. <laughs> maybe I've just been vitched. Maybe I was vitched <laughs> into liking this shit. I don't Get know. Get naked and go off into the woods, mate. You'll find Who out. Who says that I'm not? <laughs> Kofi, what did you think? Uh, I'm not going to lie, mate. I think it was a high... Four and a half. Where does the half come from? <laughs> the underage boy. <laughs> it was fucking hell. <laughs> it was going to be a five, but it's strange because it was actually okay to watch, but I wouldn't watch it again because it just doesn't do anything. Nothing really satisfied me because you're waiting a long time for stuff to happen. A little bit happens and then it's done. How about you overall, Stu? I'm going to go for a three, but I'm going to give the suspenseful trees like a nine. <laughs> <laughs> just that one scene. Thank you, Stu. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we you can, can always, that. always rely on me for the, the straightforward factual <laughs> comments. <laughs> Yeah, I would say overall, I did like the style of the film. I did like the setting and the language use was quite cool. Wasn't really invested in, like, the characters. I'd say I was more invested in just the odd scene here and there that, like, kept me, I suppose, in suspense to the ending, which was a bit, not rushed, but just sort of unsatisfying. Completely agree, Con. Listen, fuckers, if you haven't subscribed, fucking do it now. <laughs> Wherever you're lo- watching us, I don't give a fuck. If this is, I don't know, if you got it on Plex, if you got it on Netflix by now, because we fucking made it big. I don't even know if you're on YouTube, if you're on Spotify. Don't give a fuck. Hit subscribe. Go follow us on Instagram because we post pretty pictures on Facebook. We don't really do fuck all there, but you can follow us there as well and maybe follow some of the team because we've got big cocks. Thanks very much. (laughs) <laughs> Jesus, anything hard cool? Uh, you, you completely agree with the final comment? Of course, yeah, I mean, I oh, know, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, there we go. It's our honest review of 2015's The Vich. Would you like to see other films like this? No. Let us know what they are <laughs> in the comments below. And we'll see you next week for another Friday Fright Time. Cheers, Ghoul Gang. Bye. <laughs>